everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Sophia Kelly here with you today. If you are new, first time watching my video, I just want to say welcome. Make yourself feel at home. But before you get too comfortable, if you have not done so, click that subscribe button. If you didn't click it, if you haven't clicked it already, I'm guessing your hands fell off or something. You guys know that you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter for more of a daily upkeeping of what I'm up to, if you are interested at all. Everything you need to know is down in that description box below. And today I brought to you guys something that was highly requested by many of you is a series look from the Magic Palette by Javius Place. Many of you guys want to see more looks using this palette, so I'm doing that for you guys today. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this masterpiece on my face today, keep on watching, let the games begin, and um, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first shade I'm gonna be taking is in the Zulu Palette by Javius Place. And this palette doesn't have any names for its colors, but I am taking this delicious, warm, chocolatey brown color. And that's what I'm going to be using as my first color, kind of as my transition color as well. So I'm just going to be sweeping this color all over the crease, just all over. And I also want to take it out just a little bit. I tried just using only the Magic palette, but I needed more of a warmer transition shade and I didn't have that in the Magic Palette. So, all the other shades will be from the Magic Palette because you guys requested a series, so hey! Okay, so now that I have this nice brown down, what I'm gonna do, you know I'm gonna take this shade and run it along that lower lash line. We gotta connect our dots, people. Connect the dots. So I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and go along. Alrighty, so now it's time to move into the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Now, the first shade I'm going to be taking is... Okay, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Yejidi? Yejide? There's so many ways you can pronounce these letters. Yejide? I'm not sure. You know what? It is this deep navy blue shade. That is what I'll be taking. Now, with this navy blue shade, I'm going to pop that in my inner and outer corner, and then I will connect it in the center. So I'm just going to place this down on the outer corner first and you want to blend it out so it just melts into that chocolatey brown. Now I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to start adding it in my inner corner. So now that I have that going on, I'm going to start connecting the inner and outer corner together but I'm not going to add any more product to my brush. Because these colors are so pigmented that mm, you don't need any more product. So whatever is left on my brush is what I'm going to use to connect the inner and outer corner. So I'm going to take, before I add any more depth to the inner and outer corner, I want to connect the top of the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush and run that same navy blue along my lash line. All right, that is looking quite nice and blended. Now I'm just gonna add some depth to the inner and outer corner using the same shade. Now I'm just gonna concentrate this here. I'm gonna do less blending. Now I'm just building up this color right here. So I'm just packing on this color. So I just want a smoother transition from my blue into my brown. I'm gonna take a blending brush and just dip into that chocolatey brown and really work that line out so it's smoother than that. Right here. And I want this to be a smoother transition. It was just kind of like, okay, road stop. Oh, we gotta make that nice and smooth. Okay, I might have to work. So I'm taking, um, the same brush that I was working that navy blue in, I'm just gonna go on that line to help with that transition. Working between the blue and the brown. That is looking superb. So I am feeling like it's time to go ahead and fill that crease. And as always, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25 to go ahead and cut a delicious piece of this crease, okay? 
Well, let's get started. As always, you know, I'm part of that hooded lid committee, you know, so if you are part of that committee too, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Mm-hmm. Let's stick together, you guys. Bring it down. And then you want to bring out this, the top to the side. I think this is like one of my favorite cut creases. It's like this halo cut crease. It is just so simple, but so gorgeous. It's amazing. Okay, that's looking good. And so from this point on, what I'm going to do is just take the pad of my finger and blend out those edges just a little bit to work it into that blue inner and outer corner that we have. Okay, so that is looking right where I want it to be. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect because I am going to blend out those edges with a eyeshadow and a brush and the next shade I'm taking from the magic palette by Juvia's Place is called Aja and Aja is this stunning denim teal looking shade and it's just perfect for this and I'm just gonna start diffusing the sides with Aja Now that I have added down, I am going to pop in this stunning green color in the Magic Palette by Juvia Space. And this shade is called Nubia. And Nubia is like this perfect yellow green gold shade. It's just, it's just really stunning. So I'm going to pop that right in the center and start blending it out. Light place down. Smoother transition going on. That is looking, that is looking fabulous. Now with this same shade, I'm just gonna pop a little bit in the center on my lower lash line. You know, just for some pow with the eye, a little pizzazz. Yeah, we're just gonna take that right on the center in the bottom. Staying in the Magic Palette, of course, I will be taking the shade Borono, and it is this champagne toast. It's like this toasted champagne shade, and that is the shade I'll be taking on my inner corner and on my brow bone, because we got to have that highlighting action, yes? So I'm going to pop this in my inner corner. And I'm going to concentrate it and then I'm going to drag it down just a little bit. We are looking good. So now really what the only thing left to do is to align my waterline with my Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Onyx. And I'm going to line the top and the bottom. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. And I'm going to coat my lashes, of course. What else would I coat? <laughs> Oh, we can't forget the glitter. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a little bit of my Ben Nye Glitter Glue and this precious gold holographic glitter. So by mixing the glitter glue with the glitter, I'm basically making like my own glitter eyeliner. I'm just gonna let this dry. So for lashes today, guys, I'm using the Blush Tribe Lashes in the style Athena. Well, hello there. So I am back with my eyelashes on and I have to say I'm feeling like a new woman with these lashes. I'm obsessed. I, <laughs> okay, Blush Tribe, I see you with the lashes. They're fantastic. So let's help my little potato face. Let's help this face grow. I'm going to start with Fulani from the Masquerade palette and I'm just gonna bronze up my face just a little bit. We're gonna have some warmth. And up next we have to contour just a little bit. You know, we gotta chisel out those cheekbones. So I'm gonna be taking my Joe Basco in the shade Ebony. Nothing you here. We're just gonna jump right in it. So now it's time to add some color back into my face and I'm taking the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 and the shade I'll be taking is, I don't know what shade, the shade I'll be taking is Toby which is a gorgeous orange shade and um, yeah we're just going to pop that on the apples of our cheeks. Mm, yum. Have you guys ever tried mango lemonade? It is just Mm, so good. I've slipped back into my old ways. <sighs> I can't help myself. So, you know, for my glow today, I am jumping back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
Sun Dipped Glow Kit, and I'm taking that shade bronze. I mean, what other shade? I just live. I live for that shade. If I could just cover my entire face in it and it be accepted, I would do it. Hi, how are you? Hello. Oh my goodness, have I gone overboard with the highlight? I just, I don't know how I feel. I feel, no, I feel good, I feel good. Okay, so for lips today, I'm gonna keep it nude and I'm gonna keep it matte. And so I'm gonna take my, I mean guys, what lip liner do I always use from MAC? <clears throat> Chestnut. So I'm gonna be taking Chestnut from MAC and then I'm gonna be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and we're just gonna like, bond these two in holy matrimony and be happily ever after together. Okay you guys, so we are all done with today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video today, hey, oh I just dabbed on up. <laughs> if you liked this video today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Feel free to share this video, comment down below. Also, while you are doing all those other things, click that subscribe button, don't get lost. It is right there. Mm -hmm. Join the family. And you guys can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and on Twitter. And um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you beautiful people in my next video. Duh. I mean, who else will be making the video? But no, anyway, bye guys.